this cake was kind of a weird one. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love the idea and the concept and the fact that it's something different. It wasn't difficult, but I've never done it before and I didn't know how to do the yard lines of a football field. Maybe that's common sense or maybe I've just never paid attention. I don't know, but here I am. I'm trying to figure out, okay, if I have to do these numbers on this side, then I need this amount of lines. And then I have to do the same thing to the other side. And I always start in the middle. That way I can put the same amount of lines that I do on one side on the other side. So it's even. And then I just went over my lines with the buttercream. And again, what I did to one side, I did to the other side. And on a piece of paper, I wrote down the numbers. I know it's a little weird, but I just didn't want to mess it up because once it's on the cake, it's on the cake. Again, this cake wasn't difficult or anything, but I like to prep myself in my mind and like, okay, Caitlin, this is what you're gonna do and you're gonna do this first and then this and then this. Like kind of weird, but I just want to know for sure what my plan is. But anyways, I put the numbers on and then I put the 49er logo. That's my favorite team. I love the 49ers. I know no one cares, but okay, moving on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I added a red buttercream ribbon border on the bottom and then the green grass tip. And I just added these little football rings and the 49er football helmets. And then, like I said, I put numbers on one side. So I put them on the other side and bam, here's the cake. Something different. I'm pretty sure they added candles and then writing. So it seems a little plain, but there you go. Bam.